Welcome to the historical moment where two sporting legacies collided. Imagine the sheer weight of expectation resting on young Bronny James and his cartwheel slam dunking buddy from the diamond. The qualifications of both being, my dad is cooler than yours. It's like a sports family reunion where every player is the child of someone who was good, no pressure or anything. The last thing you want as a teenager is to live up to a legendary last name, especially when that last name is literally synonymous with greatness. Will he make the layup or just add to the family tradition of, oops, my bad? As the bright lights of the Lakers' home court reflected on their innocent, youthful faces, one couldn't help but wonder if these kids even knew what they were getting themselves into. Spoiler alert, they definitely do. The pressure on Bronny is not just another day at school. It's like taking a math exam while dodging flaming basketballs. Who knew being LeBron's kid would mean entering a contest where every single shot you take is measured against your dad's highlight reel? Talk about needing therapy sessions at a young age. And then we've got Ken Griffey Jr.'s son, stepping onto the hardwood like it was a baseball diamond. What's next? Does he have to slide into home plate every time he scores? Can you imagine his old man shouting swing for the fences while he's trying to make a three-pointer? The crossover between baseball and basketball has never felt so painfully hilarious. No, Dad. This isn't Little League. Honestly, it's a wonder the kid didn't come into the game with a glove, just in case someone threw him a fastball instead of a basketball. You've got the legends watching these young guns like Hawks, eager to witness the future greatness, or the epic fail, which in sports may well be a viral sensation. Just picture it. The moment Bronny fumbles under pressure, the internet will explode with memes faster than you can say, what was that, Bronny? Will they eat instant ramen on instant replay? You bet. Someone's gonna get a sponsorship deal out of this moment, and it's probably not gonna be either of these hopefuls. Oh, youth, you have such a limited understanding of the phrase fleeting fame. Little do they know, the more they play, the higher the dad jokes will fly. We can already hear it. You see, Bronny, your jump shot isn't just a jump shot, it's a possibility to elevate your entire lineage. Yes, dad, because nothing screams, I need therapy, louder than improving my shot to avoid your disgraceful playground stories. But who knows? If LeBron James' kid can handle the pressure with a smile or a cringeworthy dad joke, maybe he'll open a side business in motivational speaking or best-selling embarrassment stories on parenting. And let's talk about the coaches who are nestled in the background, probably dreading the moment when they have to break the news. Listen, guys, we need to work on your free throws more than Instagram. These legends' kids competing can't shoot like their fathers can, so what do they do? They get the advice from dad with a side of postseason breakfast. Now the only hope rests on their ability to run, aim, shoot, and most importantly, dodge the looming shadows of their fathers. Accomplishments. Because one could argue that in the world of sports, every parent becomes a potential source of existential dread. So here's the ultimate question for everyone. Are we all set to witness greatness or simply enjoy the comic bliss of these two kids navigating through the bizarre world of sports while forever having to live with the daunting legacies of their fathers? Are we here for the legacy of giants or just waiting for one of them to trip over their own shoelaces during introduction speeches? What do you think? Are you placing your bets on success or entertainment? Like and subscribe, please.